Hey everybody, Chad with Patriot Astro, and I want to talk to you about a plugin I mentioned before, Darks Customs. If you recall, this is the plugin we used to run our offset calculations for our filters so that we don't have to run autofocuses all night long, right? We can just use those offset calculations to adjust our focus parameters real time as we switch between filters. This saves us a ton of time throughout the evening. It also gives us the ability to cycle through filters and get a more even distribution of image captures at various altitudes. So this has been updated and it's a result of some really good conversations in the Nina Discord. Um, there were some really good conversations about temperature and temperature's effect on the number of autofocus cycles that we were taking over a given period of time. Um, and there are some better ways to address that and even some better ways to even just do the calculations in the long run. So I'm gonna run through this and um, show you how my numbers come out. Now, just for the record, here is under options, autofocus. Here's what my current focus offsets look like. And I'm actually gonna snap a picture of that here myself. And one of the other things I wanna show you which is pretty interesting is if we go back to the imaging tab, this plugin now, once it's updated, you'll see it up on the toolbar on the imaging page. So we see filter offset calculator up here and we'll also notice that it's down here when you open it. And again, it's, it's a dockable window so you can move it around, but it's, it's actually something that's going to run here directly in the imaging page and not something that we have to go and kick off an advanced sequence for. Now I've got my telescope pointing up. It's maybe roughly 70 some degrees, something like that. Um, I wanna make sure that I've got a good view of the sky uh, in the direction I'm pointing for these autofocus runs. I'm gonna do three iterations. That's the recommended default. I've got everything set up. I'm gonna calculate offsets for everything. I'm gonna let it run and I'll come back when it's done and we'll just compare the numbers. So you can see we're at the end of our autofocus run. We've gone through three of three iterations. We've gone through seven of seven filters. We're just checking our last cycle here and we should have some data. And here we go. Those were our current offsets. And if I choose relative offsets here, so we can see they have changed a little bit here. They are not dramatically different in some cases, but we can see that especially on uh, my HA filter is a good bit different. My sulfur is a little bit different as well. To be fair, my focuser that I have on here on my SCT, it's a quite a number of steps before there's noticeable movement. So the amount of change here in the offsets probably isn't all that dramatic. But again, try it out on your own equipment. They have made some changes in the methodology and it is recommended that you update it and run it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and just force my autofocus filter to be luminance and I'm gonna accept these new changes. And if we come back here into options and go to autofocus, we can see that I've applied those changes. My autofocus filter is set. I'm using for autofocus my filter offsets. I'm configured and ready to go. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. But again, this is something that if you are using this plugin or you did use this plugin for calculating your offsets previously, go ahead and run through it again with the new methodology after doing your updates. And let me know if you have any questions. Of course, as always, clear skies.